Hi, Pat here with MagnaWave. What I'd like to do today is I want to go over with you the operation of our new Pulse Pro machine that we have here at MagnaWave. This is just another product in our line of machines. Uh, it's a little different price point than some of the other machines, but I do want to kind of go over it with you so you understand its operation and how it works. It's actually very similar to our other devices that we have, but I wanted to kind of go over it with you and give you those, this information. The plugs go into the machine just like any other device we have. They simply go into the machine, click into place, two plugs on this particular device, and so there you go. The, uh, the plugs are in place and we're ready to go. The, turn, the off and on switch is right here on the side. When you turn the uh, switch on, you'll see that the timer will light up and the fan will begin to operate. The fan is in the uh, back of the machine and then there are air ports on two sides of the front of the device. It has a green start button and a red stop button in addition to the master on and off switch. The intensity is controlled just like some of the other machines from an intensity knob here in the middle of the, uh, of the particular machine. Now, the important thing to remember about our devices is that whether it's a digital device or a MagnaWave Max device or a Maya device or a Semi device or the Pulse Pro device, they're, they're all distributing a high voltage magnetic field uh, to help the body and the blood flow as we, as we know and learn about all the time, but each one is different. So if you've used a Max machine a lot and you go to use a Semi machine or a Maya machine or a Pulse Pro machine, as you adjust the intensity, it will be different because each one of the machines is different. And so you have to understand the sound of the clicking, the intensity that you receive from a particular setting will vary from machine to machine and uh, so that has that has an impact and, it, and, and it, it's basically a learning curve so if you're used to a particular clicking speed on the max and you put it this machine to that same clicking speed you have two different intensities going on so there is an adjustment period to understand how that works so with any device that we have we always recommend that you turn the machine on when you hit the start button and you very slowly change the intensity of the device. So here you can hear it clicking as it begins to go. So that's the difference between the devices is they all do the same basic thing but they are different machines and so the intensity will feel different at particular settings on each machine. Now what I want to show you here on this Pulse Pro machine is that it's when you turn it on currently it has a three minute timer. We're talking about making some adjustments to that, but for right now, it's a three minute timer. It may be a five minute timer, but if you wanted to change it to six minutes, you would simply hold the green button in for a second and release it, and now the timer is set at six minutes. And then you hit the green button to start the machine, and it begins to count down from there. If you were to hold the green button in for another second, it comes to two minutes. So on this particular device that I'm showing you today, it has two, three, and six. And we're working to change that to five, 10, and three. So it'd be three, five, and 10, uh, simply by depressing the button. So let me do that again. If you, if you have the machine off and it's, it's at three minutes, then you hold it in for just a second, release it, it's now at six minutes. And then you hit the green button to start it, hold it in again for a second, now it's at two minutes and you'd hit the green button to start it. If you held it in again, it'd be back at six minutes. It's, you'll get used to that or you'll understand that as you uh, work with this particular machine. So the machine is now running and I want to show you how uh, it would work. So I have the butterfly coil, so I'll place the butterfly coil here on my shoulder and then I will begin to turn the machine up. And as you turn it up, well, first you have to start it. It always helps to start it. The other thing about this particular device, the Pulse Pro device, is the timer does count down. You can see it counting down five minutes and 52 seconds remain. So at this point, you begin to turn up the intensity to where you're feeling it in the particular shoulder or the area that you're treating. Now, with any device, you can treat to the point that you are seeing movement, which is telling us if you change from this shoulder 
to this shoulder, for example, and you're not getting the same movement on this side that you're getting over here, that would tell you that you have a little more sensitivity on this side than you do on the other side. But the typical regime is just like we have on all of our devices. You turn the machine until it reaches its maximum comfort level. The person would say to you, or the, you would get the reaction from the horse's eyes or the dog's face or eyes or ears, that's plenty. And so all you want to do when you reach that point that if you're treating a person, let's just talk about it in that fashion, that if they'd say that's plenty, I mean that's enough, you would just simply back it down a little bit so they are for sure comfortable. You can adjust the machine to force body movement, which you don't necessarily need to do that. You want movement when you're trying to see if there's sensitivity there, but you don't have to have all that extreme movement to be getting the result that you necessarily are looking for as you treat with the device. So simply put it on, turn it up to where they're comfortable, and if they're comfortable, back it off a little bit and let the treatment regimen run its time. Whether you're treating the shoulder, you're treating someone's elbow or a knee, whatever it may be that you're treating, that's how the device works. So let me go over it once again. Your plugs go in, your intensity control is here in the center of the device. It has a green start button, red stop button, a countdown timer that's now down to three minutes and 57 seconds, and an on and off power switch right here uh, on the side. Very simple operation. Turn it on, turn the intensity up a little bit. You'll, you'll, the clicking will be very fast at the beginning. Slow down as you go, reach a comfort level, and then perform the treatment and all is good at that point in time. So I hope this you found this beneficial as to how this particular device works. It can be used with two devices, uh, two attachments at the same time with an adapter, which is very beneficial. For example, if you want to treat two knees on someone or you want to treat their knee and their foot or their low back and their knee, it is capable of doing that. There are some things you need to learn about that, what's the best way to apply it and how to adjust the intensity, which we'll get into in subsequent videos. But the device is very versatile, uh, puts out in the neighborhood of 1.9 Tesla with regard to power, and so you're getting as much power as most any mar machine on the market. And it has its, uh, its, its benefits, and it's a very, very good device. So I hope that's been helpful, and uh, look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks a lot. Pat Zima, MagnaWay. Have a great day.